Hi there, welcome to this part of the video where we're looking at parts D and E of this question. Now, just as a reminder, if you didn't watch the first video where we looked at parts A, B and C, we were given a continuous random variable X, which is uniformly distributed over the interval B to 4B, where B is a constant. And in that video, I drew this diagram of the probability density function going from B to 4B. And remember, because the area under here has to be 1, then the height here had to be 1 over 3B. 1 over 3B times the width here, 3B, gave us 1. And we had to find out what E of X was, the mean. And that would be a value in the middle here, and it turns out to be 5B over 2. Now, for this part of the question, we're given that B equals 1 and asked to find, in part D, the cumulative distribution function of X, F of X, for all values of X, for two marks. And then in part E, the median of X, for one mark. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, either fast forward, just to check out your working with mine, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now the first thing I'd want to do is just update this diagram. Remember B is equal to 1. So this is going to be going from 1 to 4 and this will be a height of 1 third. So if we do that, we get the following. Now in part D then, if we've got to work out the commutative distribution function of x, in other words, f of x, first of all, we consider a value of x, say, in this interval here. Let's suppose that I take x to be this value here. Then f of x, remember, gives us the probability of being less than or equal to this value x, which is represented by the area to the left. And this is a nice simple geometrical shape, that of a rectangle. So for that area, that's going to be equal to the height, which is one third, multiplied by the width, which will be x minus one. So that's the first part then. We've also got to consider when x is less than one and when x is greater than four. So we can pull these ideas together by just rewriting this under one big distribution. So if we put this one in first of all, we've got one third x minus one, and this is when x lies between one and four. But when it's less than one, then there's no chance of getting a value in between 1 and 4. So it's going to be 0 when x is less than 1. And if we take a number greater than 4, then we're guaranteed to get a value between 1 and 4. So in other words, if I had, say, f of 5, what's the probability of getting a value less than 5? Well, it's guaranteed because it's going to be a number between 1 and 4. So We've got 1 then as the probability when x is greater than 4. OK, so hope you got that. Now, in the last part here, where we've got to find the median, the median then is where the probability of being less than x is a half. Well, because this is a symmetrical curve here, then it's got to be in the middle. And we know that the middle between 1 and 4 has got to be 1 add 4 divided by 2. 2 and a half, in other words, or 5 over 2. It's going to be exactly the same as the value of e of x when b equals 1. So I'm going to say then that the median for this example is going to be just simply 1 plus 4 divided by 2. In other words, 5 over 2, 2 and a half. So, hope you've been able to uh, get those answers. If not, you've been able to see where you may have gone wrong or how to do it. Okay, 